supposed to be fixed for ruling, but the judge uh, deferred his ruling to the 16th of June uh, 2015 at 9 a.m. Uh, this case is a, a case which was uh, filed by the residents of the longhouses of uh, Kampung Long Kese and Kampung Long Naa. Uh, firstly, to challenge the uh, extinguishment of their native customary right over their customary land under Section 5, uh, Subsection 3 and Subsection 4 of the Sarawak Land Code. We are arguing that uh, this provision <coughs> is uh, unconstitutional because uh, it does not uh, provide for uh, adequate compensation and it also uh, violated uh, Article 5 uh, 1 of the Federal Constitution and as well as Article 13 1 and 2 of the Federal Constitution including Article 8 and Article uh, 153 of the Federal Constitution. And uh, over and above that, we are also uh, arguing in this case that uh, the exercise, even if the set provision of the land court uh, which they used to extinguish native customary right is held uh, to be constitutional, we are saying that the, the minister had abused his uh, discretion in uh, using this provision to extinguish our right, uh, the plaintiff native customary right, because uh, he has a conflict of interest in that uh, his uh, family's company uh, was also involved in the construction of the access road to the Baram Dam. Huh. And then secondly, uh, <coughs> the Baram Dam, uh, there's no, as of today, there is no official decision by the Sarawak government to implement this dam. And uh, thirdly, the construction of dam <coughs> under the Sarawak uh, Natural Resources and Environment Ordinance is a prescribed activity for which uh, environmental impact assessment study is mandatory. And this study has yet to be uh, completed. And the law prohibits the commencement of such uh, activity without approval by the NREB of the Environmental Impact Assessment Report. So, uh, looking at all the facts of this case, there is very clear uh, abuse of power by the minister. Uh, who uh, the, the then Minister of uh, Ministry of Resource Planning and Environment who is now our governor in Sarawak and uh, <coughs> we, we hope that the court will uh, look at all these factors uh, objectively and uh, we hope that uh, he will uh, rule in our favor <coughs> so uh, th that's uh, the status of the case uh, as of today so the next, so the ruling uh, that fixed by the judge is uh, 16 June uh, 2015. Eh? The other thing is uh, <coughs> for Sarawakian uh, at large, uh, this project should be of utmost concern to all of us in the sense that uh, here in Sarawak we are having a surplus, huge surplus of. Uh, power supply but uh, and then that's why we are saying that even economically uh, there is no justification for uh, building so many dams including the Baram Dam and eventually if this kind of project is uh, implemented Sarawakians will have to pay and future generation will be uh, very heavily financially indebted because we are to pay for all the costs the, because each of these uh, proposed dam will cost at least four billion uh, at the commencement of construction. But by the time it's completed, as we all know, the price of uh, building dam will increase uh, tremendously, as uh, we have experienced in the Bakun Dam case, for instance. So Sarawakian should uh, uh, question uh, the action of the minister in uh, simply proceeding ahead to extinguish extinguish right without regard to the provision of the law uh, of the state so that's why we are bringing this case
to uh, make ask him to account for all his uh, very unjustified uh, action here uh, disregarding the law. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.